Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jingjie. I'm a data scientist at uh, Delivery Logistic team at Instacart. Uh, so in the next 10 minutes, we're going to talk about how we A-B test for logistics. So in case you're wondering, this is a photo of Einstein. Um, I don't know how, my, how many of you have used uh, Instacart. Um, at Instacart, we pick and deliver groceries um, to customers' doorsteps in as little as one hour. So it's a multi-sided marketplace that brings together customers, shoppers, and the retailers. The logistics challenge is to make sure customers receive their orders on time. And also, we care a lot about the efficiency of the shoppers. The logistics problem is to decide in real time how we're going to route our shoppers to the store locations and which orders each shopper should fulfill. Our delivery, delivery logistic engine is constantly changing and interacting with many other systems. As a result, a huge challenge is how to measure the outcome caused by any particular algorithm change. Why not A-B test the change? A-B testing is the gold standard for cause and effect discoveries. It is used extensively for customer and shopper application design. The way we do it is we split customers and shoppers into different groups, expose them to different experience, and measure which experience variant maximizes the outcome of interest. But the same framework doesn't work for logistics. The problem is we cannot split samples either by customers or by shoppers because they are all interdependent. On the screen is a map of paths followed by our shoppers in San Francisco over the course of a few hours. As you can see, deliveries from different algorithm variants can be assigned to the same shopper. And what orders one shopper fulfills may impact the assignment of other shoppers. So in the past, in the absence of A-B testing, we've tried many alternative approach, including before and after analysis, difference in differences analysis, and time-based simulations. But they're not very good enough for building causal relationships. To make A-B testing work for logistics, we need to find a practical way to split samples. In our system, we don't have to optimize for all the customers and shoppers across the country at once. We actually segment the market and operate independently in geographical areas that we call zones. Also, any two days of the same zone are also independent because our delivery system clears overnight since our deliveries are same day. This means we can split samples by zone and day. Based on a randomly generated schedule, we can decide which algorithm to run for each zone on each day. After running the experiment and collecting all the matrix data, naturally we want to plot the distribution of the outcome, for example, efficiency, for both new and existing algorithm. It seems that the new algorithm has a higher mean. To figure out whether this difference is significant, we run a two-sample t-test. Based on the test, the efficiency associated with the new algorithm is 2.6% higher with a p-value of 8%. We want the p-value to be small. The smaller the p-value, the more confident we are that the improvement is significant and not due to randomness. A two-sample t-test is equivalent to a simple linear regression. The response variable is efficiency. The only predictor variable is the algorithm variant. So the underlying assumption of this model is efficiency depends on which algorithm we are running, and the rest is just noise. So this is oversimplified, because we know there are many other factors that may impact efficiency. For example, zone information. Efficiency in San Francisco is probably a lot higher than many other zones that are more spread, spread out and have fewer deliveries. Another example is day of week, which may have huge influence on 
you know, customers' ordering behaviors and traffic conditions. Another factor is weak number because of fast growth. So the question is, how can we control for all these factors and isolate the contribution of the algorithm change itself? Multivariate regression is just the tool we need to solve this challenge. To run a multivariate regression, we just include all the other factors into the linear regression model. Based on the multivariate regression, the size of the effect is similar. What's interesting is the standard error of the estimate is cut down by half. As a result, the p-value reduced significantly from 8% to 0.3%. So in fact, we should be very confident that the new algorithm improves efficiency. Here is a validation that multivariate regression yields lower variability. Using sampling techniques, we can draw the distributions of the estimates from both multivariate regression and simple regression for different sample sizes. Here, the sample size is proportional to how long we run the experiment when the number of zones is fixed. So we saw, we draw this distribution from one week to eight weeks. We want the distribution to be tight. The tighter the distribution, the lower the variation, the smaller the standard error and the p-value. So it's very clear multivariate regression has lower variation. Another very important message from this is when you fix the regression model, to achieve lower uh, variation, you need to run the experiment for longer time. This is very crucial because running controlled experiments can be quite time consuming and expensive. Based on the sample distribution, we can actually estimate how long we need to run the experiment to detect, for example, 1% difference change in efficiency. Using multivariate regression, it would take us four weeks. What about simple regression? It would take us more than eight weeks. Without multivariate regression, our pace of innovation would be much slower. Finally, for any algorithm change and experiment, in addition to efficiency, we actually look at a suite of business metrics to get a clear and a complete picture of the impacts and trade-off to make sure we're always making the best decision for the overall business. Okay, just a quick summary, two takeaways. First, seeing is not believing. Sometimes it takes a little bit extra activity to make A-B testing work for your business operations. Second, less is not always more. If you know there are differences in your samples, by controlling all these other factors using multivariate regression, you can speed up your business decision-making process. Thank you.